Hello guys, I'm Nadia. Welcome back to another workout. Today we're going to focus on the abs, but you're also going to be working the arms a lot. Just be prepared. This is going to burn a little. It's quick but intense. Let's get started. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the ground. Extend your arms for long arm crunches. Let's go for 30 seconds. Exhale as you curl up and inhale as you lower yourself back down to your starting position. Engage your core muscles and keep your movements controlled. Keep breathing, you're almost done with this first exercise. You've got three seconds left, three, Two, one, let's move on. Bring your arms by your side, so let your hands rest on your belly. Bend your knees at a 90 degree angle for toe tap. Again, 30 seconds. Now begin to alternately lower your left and right foot down and tap your toe on the floor. Keep your core engaged and your lower back pressed firmly into the floor. Slow controlled movements, one leg at a time. You'll get through this, keep smiling. Almost done. Few seconds, great. Keep your legs up and bent. Place your hands behind your head, elbows out to the sides for cross body crunches. Lift your shoulder blades off the ground and bring your elbow across the body towards the opposite knee. Exhale as you complete the crunch and inhale as you return to the starting position. Breathing properly during this exercise can really help you to engage your core muscles more effectively. And you can do this by pulling your belly button in towards the spine. Keep going. Well done. Single leg drop is next. Lie on your back with your legs extended straight up toward the ceiling. Your arms should be resting by your sides. Engage your core and press your lower back into the mat. 30 seconds, let's go. Lower one leg down toward the mat, keeping it straight and hovering a few inches off the floor. Inhale as you prepare and exhale as you lower your leg down. Keep your core engaged to prevent your lower back from arching off the mat. Well done. Next up, we got scissor legs. Lie on your back with your legs extended straight up towards the ceiling, hands under your butt for extra stability. We're doing 30 seconds again. Begin to alternate your legs in a scissoring motion. You lower one leg towards the mat while you lift the other leg towards the ceiling. The lower you bring your legs, the more intense it gets, so keep your legs up if you need to modify. And continue this scissoring motion. Engage your core and press your lower back into the mat. Keep breathing, you're almost done with this exercise. Well done, we're doing 20 seconds of hip lifts next. Lie on your back with your hands behind your head, elbows facing out. Lift your legs up towards the ceiling, knees slightly bent. Inhale lower, exhale, raise your hips up. Your bum should lift off completely off the mat. Keep going, you can do this. We got three, two, one, well done. All right, for this next one, we're just gonna roll back and forth. Bend your knees, hold on to your shins, tuck your chin and rock back and forth. We're only doing 10 seconds here. We got one more, all right. For the next exercise, get into a forearm plank position with your elbows directly under your shoulders and your forearms flat on the ground. Come onto your toes and get ready for the body saw core exercise. We're doing 20 seconds, so try and hold your body in a straight line from head to heels. Keep your core muscles engaged and slowly rock back and forth. You can do this, almost done. And we're gonna stay on our left forearm and then slowly lower your hips down to the ground. Take a breather and then lift those hips up again. Extend the top leg, 
and begin to drop your hips and then lift. If you like, you can extend both legs. That is more challenging. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, lift. Keep your core firm and tuck your tailbone in. Well done. Let's switch sides, roll onto your right side. Come onto your forearm and I show you the variation here with both legs extended, which is more challenging. So just repeat what you did on the other side. Again, only 20 seconds. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift your hips up. Keep going, draw your navel in and try not to stick your butt out. Well done, we're going to have a little intermission of stretching before we move on to our last exercise. Shift your hips back, come into child's pose. You can either sit on your heels or bring the tops of your feet down. Let your forehead rest on the mat and breathe. For a nice shoulder stretch, bring your arms behind your back and interlace your fingers and try and straighten your arms slowly. All right, get ready for our final exercise. Come into downward facing dog. We're doing side plank with an arm extension. Lift your left leg up, inhale, exhale, bring your knee into your chest, then shift your weight so that you can extend that leg and come into side plank. Keep your foot down or deeper challenge, lift your foot a few inches off the floor and move it up in a pulsing motion. You're not gonna be here long, so make it your best side plank ever. Just go with the option that is right for you. Well done, come back into plank, shift back into downward facing dog. This time, raise your right leg up behind you and then swing it across and underneath your body. You have the option to keep your foot on the floor or lift up, whatever you chose on the other side. Just repeat the same thing here. Keep engaging your core. You can do this, you're almost done. And that's it. Come back into a comfortable position. Shake out your hands, bring the backs of your hands together and circle them around. For a shorter stretch, bring your arms behind you again. Do whatever feels good in this moment, whatever you need to stretch and relax after this challenging workout. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.